wait, wait, wait. No, no, I, no, I got a best friend that graduated from A&M. So, oh, no. so, so I wanted to know, you know, because y'all kind of shaded Atlanta a little bit in the beginning. Talking about, <laughs> so I wanted to know what kind of city that is. What, what is there to offer for, for people who don't, who have never been there? When you pub your city, that doesn't necessarily mean you shade it. Somebody did shade Atlanta. Yeah. Somebody said this ain't Atlanta. Said, well, well, I it's not ATL, it's ATL. Well, I was in my feelings, so, you know, I was in my feelings. Well, look, you got to get out your feelings. Get out your feelings. Because when we're pubbing Alabama and Huntsville, we not shading nobody. Everybody has their own thing. We just want y'all to see Alabama got some things, got some too. We've got some things that you overlook. And so we're trying to bring your attention All right, to the things that you overlook. Right. NASA, we have NASA, we have the Redstone Arsenal, we have major government contracting companies. Polaris, really, Facebook. Yeah, we have all of that. Um, the second largest research park in the country. Um, so I think Huntsville would just vote, voted one of the 20, 21st best cities to visit. Right. I mean, like, it's a lot of time in Huntsville. The public school systems mm -hmm. are really good. There's a nice place to raise your kids, affordable housing. Like, it's a really good area that you can live in and, that's and why make so a good life. Right? Yeah, that's family. We don't have a professional involved. sports team, yeah. but we're working on it. <laughs> <laughs> we got the trash pan. <laughs> <laughs> development is good. Development, like, yeah. development. Mm, it's down to it. Right. And we have Facebook is coming there. Yeah. And then we have yeah, Facebook right. is coming there. Yeah. That was like I think a multi. No, no, we, Facebook. We, no, no, we got that. Yeah. 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 But that's <laughs> what yeah. 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 Google. Yeah. 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 Google. Yeah. Oh, that's right. We got that's Google. Google. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Question here. Yeah, we're uh, on the guest list streamatl.net. Um, the question I have for you, ladies, is that uh, since you started filming the show. Um, can you tell us some things that you learned <clears throat> that maybe you could give advice to a person who is thinking about being on the show? Like something that you immediately think got enlightened to once you started <laughs> filming. What, what did you learn? What have you learned so far? Always be ready and always be rested up because this makes for some long days and some long nights. <laughs> it takes a lot of time. It's a lot. It's right. a lot in all of us, especially, you know, us who are working or owning right. our own businesses yeah, or whatever. Right. Um, those businesses ha have to continue running. So when you're not on camera, you're trying to, okay, do I need to do payroll? Yeah. All right, yeah. did, did these contractors get this job done? Yeah. Now somebody has an emergency on the job site. So you're still trying to juggle everything. So just be ready for long days yeah. and long nights. You have to right. be very organized <laughs> and you have to be flexible. That's the main thing. Extremely flexible. <laughs> Question there? Hello, my name is Kier. I'm with the Girl Power Hour Radio. My question, like that too. Is, <laughs> my question is, how difficult is it? Because you know, and especially in Black America, we always say we can't work where we live. So, how is it being able to work and live with your spouses? Like, especially Melanie, you go to work with your husband, mm -hmm. you go home with your husband. So, how is it being difficult to to manage? both your personal and your business since they sometimes merge together? I will say that it's easier now. There were a lot of things we had to learn in the beginning. So as I mentioned earlier, because we're as educators turned entrepreneurs, we taught middle school um, for three. I taught for three years, we taught for two. Um, and once we resigned and went together solely as business partners, um, there were a lot of things that we had to learn, especially like when do I take the, the boss hat off, you know, because I'm at home now, so let me put the wife hat on, you know. Um, but now, it's like I said, 10 years in, we've kind of learned, you know, how to handle those things, what conversations need to be left at the workplace, what conversations that you need to have at home. Because it's easy for even romance to get lost, right? And we went through that phase where romance can get lost because you're business, 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 business. And especially, you know, when you're grinding and you're trying to get there, that's really all your mind is wrapped around is the business, the business. So we had to really learn how to balance that thing and how to know, okay, we're at work now, now we're at home, cut work off, let's enjoy our kids, let's enjoy our family time, and let's enjoy the us that started this, what the root of all of this. It was just me and him. There were no kids, it was just he and I. So we had to get back to the root of our relationship. And like for me, like my husband, um, I feel like he's a great leader, and he's like, in the very beginning, he's like, listen, we have to, the, the roles. It's all about the roles. You know, you have to know what your part is. So therefore, you're not you're not confused. I'm responsible for this, and you're responsible for that. So therefore, it works out, balancing everything out for us. So. Question here. Uh, Hi. 
You want me to answer that? <laughs> <laughs> we don't exactly. We work in tandem as opposed to together. Maurice runs his credit repair company, um, and I do real estate. So we kind of shuttle off a lot of our clients to each other, um, and that's best for us because we're extremely different in that regard. So we haven't been able to find that common balance to actually be together all day long and all night long because we just think differently, um, extremely differently as far as moving the business forward. So we're more in tandem than like in the same building all But just know he wants her on his team. I was having that conversation. He wants her. He knows she's smart and she's got it. And he was like, uh, no. <laughs> no. That's tough. <laughs> Right. Stay <laughs> okay. Hi guys, my name is Latoya. I'm with SheThorough.com. Can you just tell us a little bit about your business and what you do? It's all about entrepreneurship this year and women leveling up. Um, just give us a little bit about what you do and the name of your business. Okay. Well, I'll go first. We started out um, when we were teaching. We started a business, lawn care and cleaning services. Um, and from there, we would um, go clean after school on the weekends, mow lawns after school on the weekends. And so then we learned about this industry called property preservation. Um, from someone out in Texas and we were like oh that sounds cool so we started doing work for banks and for HUD on foreclosed properties going in after people were you know moved out and cleaning them up some of them very dirty and very, very bad condition but just know your girl can do it all so I was up in there cleaning all those dirty <laughs> toilets when people had messed up the house getting it together um, and so from there we started doing repairs and rehabs and we do that in seven states now um, and we are custom home builders in the Huntsville market. So my husband and I, we um, the name of our business is Scope Industries. My husband is a um, commercial general contractor, and I am a commercial real estate developer. So we work on commercial retail classes. And like I mentioned earlier, Maurice owns his um, Credit One USA, which is a credit repair service. He's also in law school because he wants to couple consumer law with that for people who have been taken advantage of in that particular field. I do real, I sell real estate. Um, by trade, I'm a registered nurse. I have my master's in administration. Um, and I also am the co-owner of a catering company, KDK. One more question. What are, some, what are some of the challenges you face in your perspective? Oh, well, like I said earlier, <laughs> for me, it's just being, um, to be quite frank and honest, being a black female in a white dominated market and industry. Um, most of the conferences I go to, it's not many people that look like me that's there. It's mostly white males. So I've had to work you. even. Oh, yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, this is my look, girl. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I've definitely had to prove, you know, show why I need to be in the room, pretty much, um, and why you need me in the room. Um, so I've had to just definitely be strong in that, um, which I think has caused me to build up such a strong personality because most of the time I'm the minority in the room. Exactly what Mel just um, said, the same for me, because being a um, commercial real estate developer, you don't see many ladies that look my complexion, my age, you don't see that. So I remember when I was going out interviewing um, for brokers, I'm like, dang, there's no females, there's no black uh, male brokers. Like, I had to go, I'm like, you know what, this is the area that I really need to get into, take charge in it. So I'm in school right now, getting my um, master's <laughs> degree in commercial development. And I'm like, we're going to kick this field in the butt. We're taking it over. So yeah. Awesome. 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 We're going to do two more questions, and we're going to wrap. She's so Danielle. Oh, she is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. laughs> I'm teasing. I'm, I do residential real estate. Um, and so I honestly don't get a bunch of flag other than being a minority because it's a primarily Caucasian female industry, in all honesty. So I kind of boss up and just kind of awesome. do my thing. I know. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Okay, so two more questions. Thanks, Danielle. Okay. Awesome. Um, so let's have some fun. Okay. Let's talk about these husbands. Okay. okay. If you guys mm -hmm. absolutely had to do like a husband swap. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. <laughs> Who would you pick? <laughs> I'm not doing that. It, 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 it could be brief, it could be for a day. No. Nah. <laughs> I can't switch out. Yeah, God know who to get to who. Yeah. So. <laughs> twice on Sunday like yeah. and that's a that's real talk I literally couldn't even fathom either one of their spouses and I'm sure they couldn't fathom mine you know Jesus placed us where we are in life to meet the people 
people that we're supposed to meet. <laughs> I'm with who I'm supposed to be with in my life. <laughs> so <laughs> who are the opposite? Who would you not spend one day with? That's Messy Boo. That's Messy Boo. That's Messy Boo. I probably would pass on Martel. I probably would oh maybe God. a half an afternoon with Martel. Marso is hilarious. And when y'all get to see all of these episodes and meet Marso for who he is, we you ready to meet Marceau right now for who he is. Honey, I wish. <laughs> I wish because y'all would get over that so fast. He's a sweet, sweet guy. Yeah, he's going to make y'all laugh y'all way he's out of He's the class clown. Don't forget all about that stuff. This is the first time I think we've... The first time that we've seen uh, professional African American uh, real estate professionals, how are you planning to use this platform? Because this is a really huge, you know, reality show is huge. So how are you planning to really use this platform to promote any maybe personal or professional, you know? Well, for me, I'll go first. Okay. Y'all don't mind. Um, for me, what's so amazing is I actually started my motivational speaking campaign like two years ago. Um, and so I get inboxed all the time and I respond to everybody who writes me and a lot of people want mentorship and they want to know how did you do it and how can I do it? So for me, it's just really, I, I said, I've said before when I was teaching, why was I teaching? What did I love about it? And what I know I loved is encouraging and being, you know, an example. To